going to make garlic bread from scratch. And when I say from scratch, I'm also going to make the bread. This is a super easy recipe for my flat breads. Now, just to give myself a head start, I've activated the instant yeast and I've fed it with some caster sugar, just a teaspoon of caster sugar. Also, 100 millilitres of warm water or lukewarm water has been added to that. Now for the flour. This is one cup of plain flour. I'll add some salt to the flour. You never want to add the salt to the yeast because that will kill the yeast. So sugar in the yeast, salt in the plain flour, then just mix it up so it's just completely combined. And now we can start adding this liquid. Now I'll add that to the center and I'll just get a spatula just to scrape in all of that yeast. Okay, now we can start mixing this in just slowly at the beginning and then bring in all those sides. And you'll see, depending on the flour you use, you may need a little more water or a little less, about a tablespoon. This is fine because now I'm gonna get my hands in here and start kneading it. So you'll see it come together. I'm just gonna take it out of the bowl, just taking that excess flour. And I like to have some fine polenta on standby. So I'll just sprinkle some over. That just ensures it doesn't stick, but it also gives the bread some nice texture. So now I'll knead this for about a minute. You just want it to start becoming really soft. And once it stops sticking to your fingers, see at the moment it's sticking just on my palm, you know it's not ready. So just knead it more. It's a little bit of a good workout. Stretch it and then pull it and then you'll see it come together. Just gather any of that excess flour and that dough. All right, that's all the kneading I need to do for this flatbread. Now we need to prove it for about half an hour. So I'll add some of that fine polenta back into the bowl just so it doesn't stick. We'll pop a little ball of dough into the center and now I'll cover that with some cling film. And you wanna leave this in a warm spot like I said, it's going to take about half an hour. All right, let's put that to the side and get on with the garlic butter. I love garlic bread. So some garlic. I'm going to blitz this all together so we get it nice and fine. And I really want this garlic to be pureed, so I'm just finely grating it first. Just tap it on the side. We'll add our butter, a generous amount of butter and then some parsley, stalks and all, about a quarter of a bunch of parsley. In it goes. And then that's unsalted butter, so I'll add a pinch of salt. Okay, the lid goes on and I'll blitz this until it's a light pale colour and then the butter is ready to go. We'll wait for that to finish proving and then we can start making our flatbreads. So this bread has doubled in size now, so we can start grilling it. Look how fluffy it is. Now just using that fine polenta again, just dust the board and also dust your hands and just take it out of the bowl. You'll see it shrink up a little, that's completely normal. And just cover it in all of that polenta, just so it's easy to handle. And then I'll cut this dough into small portions. So let's just cut this into four. And you can either use a rolling pin like I'm doing or you can just use the palm of your hands to flatten it out and then grill it straight away. So again, just sprinkle it and just roughly roll it out into ovals. And I like how it looks imperfect, that organic look. Now I've been heating up my grill pan. I've been preheating my pan. The thermal spot has gone a solid red. So that's the key indication that we are ready to grill these. No oil required because we're going to use this gorgeous parsley and garlic butter. And because they're flatbreads and this is super hot, it won't stick. So first one can go on. So I'm going to roll out the rest of these and we're going to do them one at a time. As soon as that's char grilled on one side, I'm going to flip it, start brushing it with the beautiful butter, flip it again and then we can do the second one. Don't overcrowd the pan, we want to give each individual bread some love and you can see it's almost ready. See how it's starting to bubble up? Give that 30 more seconds and we're right to flip. OK, 
Okay, it's smoking along the sides, so let's turn this. It's puffed up nicely. See how it doesn't stick? And look at those gorgeous grill marks. That's what we're looking for. Now, while it's still piping hot, this is the time to add a generous amount of this yummy butter. And I'll just spread that over it and it'll automatically melt over the top. Look at that vibrant green colour. Love it. All right, I'll give that 30 more seconds on that side. We'll take it out and finish cooking these lovely grilled flatbreads. I've just done to my last one and tell you what, there's so much pleasure in just watching this butter melt over this hot grilled bread and it smells so good. Now you want to eat these pretty fast while they're still piping hot. So I'll take the last one out. So I've got a nice pile of them over here and then I'm going to serve them in big chunky wedges. Just cut them pile them up generously. You know, you could serve this as part of a mezza course or a first course in the middle of the table with lots of shared dips. But tell you what, this is just one of those delicious treats to have as is too. That melted butter and that char grilled bread. Look at this one. That one's, for me, it looks so good. Have a taste. Mm, there's nothing like homemade garlic bread. That is the best. <laughs>